The International Film Festival and Forum on Human Rights in Geneva is one of the most important events dedicated to cinema and human rights around the world. But when the 2020 edition was hit by the coronavirus, the festival team reacted immediately by proposing a version 2.0. We had to cancel the festival, but we don't need to cancel the core of our mission, which is, of course, to show films, but through films to talk about the human rights issues that are falling apart all over the world, to give a voice to activists, artists, experts, to denounce serious situations, to propose and highlight solutions and possible answers. Many guests came to participate in the debates which were broadcast online. The festival presented the film Prison for Profit, a powerful documentary on the privatization of prisons in South Africa and around the world, inspired by an investigation by Ruth Hopkins. We heard about torturing uh, uh, prisoners were injected with antipsychotic drugs against their will and and it was sort of run as a private prison, run by um, a big uh, multinational G4S. The company G4S that is running this prison is um, has sort of incidents sort of worldwide, everywhere, but they're never really linked. In the context of privatization, both inmate and guard are the victims of a system that commodifies prisons, making it a business like any other, without any notion of public service and respect for human rights. Somehow, I, 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 I think I was part of that. It's all about money. It's all about profit. One of this year's central topics is international humanitarian law, particularly in Syria. The Cave is one film that could not be screened, but the debate, which is accessible online, allowed the main protagonist to report on the situation. This film or this documentary, to me, it's my reality, my life. So we want to tell the truth about what's happening in Syria through this film. It's our testimony about uh, on the crimes against the humanity. Uh, it's a, it, we want to show the people that the struggle uh, of Syrian people, of Syrian women and children, how they lived under these uh, very bad circumstances. The subjects of this 2020 edition are numerous, from China to Sudan to Palestine. The state of the world is mapped. The environment and climate emergency are also among the main subjects of this decidedly essential festival. Find more details and debates on the festival website.